don't ever hear in your own head, who am I to say something? You are a human being, you are a person, you can 100% change the world. Because I am female, I'm expected to aspire to marriage. I know young women who are under so much pressure from family, from friends, even from work, and they're pushed to make terrible choices. We are more vulnerable than we ever thought, but we are stronger than we ever imagined. Being independent means the hero's journey, freedom, self-expression, legacy, being free to make my own choice. Choice. I love to have a choice. Empower. Empowerment. Sense of fulfillment. Fulfill. Independence means to take ownership of your life. Live your life on your own terms. Drive and femininity from within. Independence means. Freedom. 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 I am an independent woman. I'm, I'm an independent, independent woman. woman. I'm an independent, independent woman. woman. I am an independent woman. I am an independent woman. woman. I am an independent woman. woman. You want success in life? Do this. As a child, behave well. Follow what they tell you. Don't lie. Be a good girl. Always smile. Go to school. Study hard. Always do your homework. Be happy. Follow the rules. Be nice. Don't wear heels. Make friends, but only those of good families. Help out mom with the household. Have a representative hobby, like playing an instrument. Don't be too loud. Don't overreact. Don't be like the other girls. Don't talk too much. Don't dress like that. Get profession, but not this profession. Go to university. Preferably study law, medicine, or economics. Get a scholarship. Make us proud. Focus on getting good grades. Society will protect you. Learn to protect yourself. They will decide for you what rights you have. You don't have rights. Wear heels. Go on, on a diet. Cook him something nice. Get a good job. Work hard and be loyal. But don't expect to be paid high enough. You're not a man. Stay there until you retire. Earn respect in society. Climb the corporate ladder. You have to fit into this dress. Buy a car. Watch what you eat. Be slim. Don't be skinny. Use makeup. Look natural. Be sexy. No, don't be sexy. It's a shame. Get married. He should be smart and hardworking. Who never had time for a wife. Be a good wife. Have two kids, a boy and a girl. Teach them well and build a nice family. Save money for them. For the education of our children. Yes, I teach my children valuable life lessons so they can become successful. So they can find a good job. Most people don't like their job. Retire when you have enough money. When the kids are out of home, start to enjoy your life like successful people do. So this is it, huh? This is gonna be your hitch. This is the tried and true path, the life we should live. But is this the life we would want to live? If you want to be safe, be respected by society, want to fit in, follow these rules. Please, also skip the rest of this video, as this might not be for you. Bye. But if you want an out-of-the-ordinary, an extraordinary life, 
you are gonna have to break some rules. They are contradictory anyway. Maybe you are even tired of having to fit in and feel like something is missing. Something may have happened and you know if you continue this way, it will only get worse. Well, I assume you are here because you are tired. Tired of being victim of the life you are living right now. Maybe life is not the adventure you have been dreaming of. There is a calling inside of you. A divine call to action for your life. Maybe you feel it is out of control. It is controlling you. This may come in the depth of sorrow, a hard life situation, the very things we may need to cut apart us in a better direction for our life, a better version of ourselves. There will come a time in your life when the world gets quiet, when the only thing left is your own heart. Learn the sound of it. Learn to listen to it. Otherwise, you'll never understand what it is saying. The universe knows no end. Don't be too quick to hit the snooze button. Instead, listen. This might be one of the moments. Otherwise, situations like this may come again and again and again and again. in multiple industries. So I was successful in the music business, I was successful in modeling, in television, in real estate. So I made all this money and I had all this success. And here I was going, okay, I still don't feel any different. And I had banked everything on that making me feel better, or feel happier, or really honestly feel worthy, right? I think that's what we're all searching for is that worthiness. And when I got to the top of that mountain and looked around and realized I still felt the same, I said, I, I guess I'm going about this the wrong way because again I had done it multiple times and every single time there was that feeling of okay is this all there is so finally I stopped doing what I had always been doing which was the go 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 pursue 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 and I sat still and listened to that inner voice and said okay well, well what do you want to do what do you want to create what do you want your life to mean what's your legacy and that's what changed everything for me each life is different each story is different. A wake-up call happens, a hard life situation, an accident, a disease, a death. It can be even success. Facing the truth can be daunting. The purpose of it is to awaken you. What I want to do in my life is travel the world, discover what is around, learn from other people. Um, I was curious and excited. So I had to become independent very soon. Being independent means being independent emotionally, financially, spiritually, just being who I am with all of my heart in every situation of life. If when people say, oh, I want to be like you, I want to be an actor, I want to look like you, the question I always ask them is why? Like really why? And people, and especially America, this idea of fame, that to be famous means that you're successful, that you've, you're happy. It's not about, I, I don't do what I do because I want to be famous. That's part of, being famous is my job. That's, I am not, when I'm home, I am not, and I'm with my family and my friends, I am not famous, I am me. And I'm Cameron and. It's quite critical for us women to be independent, to build our lives, to become the base that everyone depends on us to be. Therefore, we need to find our balance, self-worth, stability, drive and femininity from within to become our own son. I learn uh, also from sometimes bad time and help me to grow. And uh, for me now is a time for a legacy. Maybe it's a legacy to inspire other people, to find their own dream, to find uh, their skills uh, and to grow. Ladies and gentlemen, Go for freedom, go for independence. 
being everything I am with all of my heart in any situation of life. And that is such an amazing feeling of freedom. That doesn't, fame does not define me. And so if you are looking for fame to define you, then you will never be happy and you will always be searching for happiness and it, you will never find it in fame. And so it goes back to, I think for me, authenticity, intention. Why do you want to do anything you do? It should not be motivated by something that you think is going to make, fulfillment comes from within you by being authentic to yourself, not ch chasing fame. We are who we are because we made decisions, nobody else but us. Are you living your life right now? Your life. The adventure of life is calling. make all the decisions. I make my own decisions. Make the decisions and I say no. I make my decisions, I, I stick by them. Here, I can make some decisions, watch this. We are who we are because we made decisions. Nobody else but us. The adventure of life is calling. It is common sense because all of us have seen it happen. Though we don't want to believe it, we suppress it. We got infected, infected by a particular idea without really knowing why. We want to do this crazy thing. Maybe it is to take that risk. To write this book, maybe that song, maybe finally build the business that lets us do what we want to. It is counterintuitive. Somehow it doesn't fit with the society's traditional vision of the world we live in. The time has come when you decide for it to come. When is our time? So if sometimes you feel that your life is not truly yours, but it's just the reaction to the system you were brought up in, is the perfect place to start from and start exploring whether there are opportunities to become a much more joyful and truthful self-expression of who you came here to be. The most important thing is to be surrounded by other women and men who can nourish you, challenge you, support you on the journey, because it is a true hero's journey that is filled with highs and lows, oftentimes quite messy, but it's usually, most of the times, hopefully, very rewarding and meaningful. Once you figure out your core values, that's when you're ready and you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. I served my country. I was a captain in the army. And right now I'm a stand-up comedian and a singer-songwriter. No, I, I live in Los Angeles currently, and I'm pursuing my dreams. So I decided to be an independent woman when I was young. Today, we have harmony environment, available technologies, and great support from men. We are in the era to developing professional skill or being an entrepreneur. We must thanks to pioneers for their contribution to women's rights and women empowerment. Independent is a key factor to be a happy woman. Why? Because you are able to have a kind of life you want to have. You can support people who need your help. It's the freedom from heart to soul. I am a human with thoughts and opinions. I have the ability to do whatever I please and become whoever I want to be. I want to offend people with my own unadulterated confidence. As they realize that yes too, they can be more than pretty. And if pretty is what you or I want to be, that is brilliant. But there is more than just pretty. I had the courage to step out from being pitiful about my life to a place of inner power that has transformed my life. And now I am reminding others to reinvent their stories. I want you to know that there is a higher power that supports you. 
This power is for you and not against you. What you need to do is to surround yourself with other women who will bring the best out of you. And when the going gets hard, know that you are not alone. There is a bunch of sisterhood out here who are willing to encourage you, uplift you as you navigate the new you. You are not alone. We are in this together. Be free. Go. Go. Be free. Be When we continue to let go of the old and let the new emerge, that is change, growth. I used to be very shy and living in my little bubble, just like most of my immigrant friends. In 2018, I started a new challenge. I wanted to have 100 lunches with 100 strangers and that journey completely changed my life in every single aspect. And that's what you don't realize. It's like, you think you're protecting yourself from other people and from the world, but at the end of the day, you're shutting yourself from yourself. You're not even connected to your soul, your heart, your like, and when, when I had to wake up and out of that fog of how I had been operating and my heart and spirit weren't actually in the lead, oh, that is such <laughs> a hard confront. One of the greatest gifts in the world you can give to anybody is the relationship to themselves. Isn't that true? And you know who is going to take away that relationship the entire time. The food industry, the beauty industry, the fashion industry, the entertainment industry, the media, lobbyists, politicians, and so on and so forth. One of the intentions of this video is to undo what they are doing and give you the gift of independency from that. Independence means to take ownership of your life, to depend on yourself, to have freedom over what you think, over what you believe, what you do, and that includes financial, professional and social liberation to really step into your power and stand in it and in doing so you'll uplift others. A huge strength in gaining my independence has been to listen to myself, to what I need inside and really trust it. Rather than worrying what others think about me or comparing myself to others or focusing on the constant needs of other people, to believe that actually I'm worthy and that what I think and what I need matters. That has certainly been a difficult process. However, it's been the key to building self-worth and therefore independence. And really, really is the key to freedom, to be all that you can be. The biggest lesson that I've learned is that I don't need to wear a mask. I don't need to fit in. I can just be who I am and I can be independent. is a miracle. Boundaries are only existent in our mind. 
The universe does not know any limits, but we do. The most important lessons of life often come from the hardest things that happen to us in our lives. Hold on. It is not necessarily what happens to us. If you change your perspective, they might happen for us. Change it again and we might grow beyond, but it takes guts. It requires letting go of who and what you are now. Fully committing to change. Is it all worth it? You may ask yourself. Decide to become who you were meant to be. It is fully up to us what do we do with the outcome of the situation. Any situation. Do we fall victim or rise above it? Look at the Chinese word for crisis, for example. The Chinese letters for the word crisis are actually both danger and opportunity. Too fuzzy? I know, so let me explain. In life on Earth, you will be standing at crossroads a multitude of times. There is no right or wrong, by the way. However, it is important which road you will take, as this will lead to consequences that you are creating. And this will define your future. Barnett Bain described in his book, The Third Story, three ways to respond to what happens to us. If you chose to create the first story, you are living through the pains, wounds and tragedies that leave you in tatters, falling into the poor me victim story. We also call this the victim complex, a personality trait of persons who believe they are constantly the victims of the harmful actions of others, even when made aware of evidence to the contrary. The second story is a popular one. It is the hero's journey, wherein you seek to put yourself together again after you've been wounded, valiantly overcoming your challenges and obstacles. You feel pain, you hear a calling, a call for adventure. You go on a journey, you find the Holy Grail, you bring the Grail back home and enjoy a hero's welcome. End of the story, right? Well, most people stop here. But there is more. Some people are willing to transcend the victim story, move beyond the hero's journey and fully step into the third story. The third story is a response to a call from deep within yourself. It is an extraordinary state that inspires you to live your own dreams and to intimately know your real purpose and meaning. This state of independency allows you to live life based on your own terms. This is the post-heroic story full of paradox and uncertainty and no guarantee of happy endings. But it is authentic. It is real and rich and full of meaning without attachment to agenda or ego or pleasing others without the need to fit in. Just you. Your story is extraordinary if you chose it to be. Authentic power is when the personality, your personality, comes to serve the energy of your soul. When you are able to align who you are, who you've become in the world, with really what you've come to do in the world, when your personality serves the soul, This is a circle. Imagine the circle represents one day of your life. 365 of this represents one year. 
According to United Nations, the global average life expectancy is 70 years. If you are female, you are lucky. You have another two years more. In the year 2020, millennials are already turning 40. So if you are a member of this generation, this is your present. This is your past. And this is what you have left. Your future. If you look back on the first part of your life, have you actually lived? If you look towards your future, this is what you can create. Create wisely. Because if you not invent a time machine, you will only have one chance. Okay, and this is now. This is the moment. Are you normally living in the moment? On whose terms are you creating your life? This is right now. Congratulations that you chose to watch this video right now. I hope and my highest intention is that it will impact your life for the better. So let's prepare for the big change. What is the base of it? Choice. Choice. Choose you. An independent woman trusts herself. She trusts her power to act from a place of choice. She's not afraid to sit with her fears. She creates her own values and she chooses who she wants to be to best serve herself, her family, and her community. One, freedom of choice. It's a choices and decisions that we're making on a daily basis. Two, freedom of voice. I like to have a choice. A choice whom to spend my time with, a choice what to cook, what to wear, where to go, with whom to go. The independence is the way you think about yourself, is the way you feel yourself. And also it is responsibility and choice to be the happiest person. There is a one single force that controls quality of our life. And I have it, you have it, we all have it. And it could change anything regardless of our circumstances. This is the power of choice. We not always can control our circumstances, but we definitely have a control over these three choices. What we focus on, what meaning we give to our circumstances, and what we do about that. Life is too short to sell your time for money in order to pay all your bills and die. And three, courage to be who I want to be. Make your dash dance. Make that dash between your birthday and this day. Make that day dance. Make it rock this planet. Make it unapologetic. Take no prisoners. Play full out. If you're gonna run, run fast, run hard, even at the risk of hitting the wall. Make your dash dance. Celebration? Oh, yes. Of death and rebirth. I want it now. This is a rebirth. Now, at this point, you ask yourself the master of all questions. Why? 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 Why isn't it that everyone is living it? Why? Trans of comfort, trans of not sticking your head up above the crowd. It is easy to stay where you are and blame others. You feel secure. You feel this is what you are supposed to do. Because everyone else is doing this. But also you are now aware of the reward. After stopping to compare, after stopping to live someone else's life, you are reborn. Focus on yourself. Feel yourself. Listen to yourself. Since early age, I was independent financially. But I reached free independence when I healed from victimacy. 
shifting my negative belief system and mainly when I learn to breathe consciously. A woman can be brilliant, intelligent, connected, gifted from the divine and come in her true power when she knows who she is and what her true essence is. And all of this comes from self-acceptance, radical self-acceptance. No matter what size you are, no matter what you look like, no matter what your paycheck is, it's all about from the inside. To me, independence is the combination of vision and courage to become who we are truly meant to be and then the steep sense of fulfillment, freedom and joy to celebrate it. How do you communicate authentically? How do you figure out what to say and what not to say in a way that's authentic? And what Fred says, and I really believe this is true, is it starts from the fundamental understanding that there is no truth. There's my truth, there's your truth, that everything is subjective. And so if you always start from the position of, this is what I believe, I don't expect you to believe it, I don't think you have to believe it, I'm not saying it's true, you can actually always communicate authentically. Because if you walk in the room, and this gets worse as you get more senior, here's the answer, you're not giving anyone else any room to say anything. And if you walk in the room and say, I believe this for this reason, what do you believe? If you share your truth in that language, you give people room to authenticate, to communicate authentically. And that is hugely important to these relationships at any stage. I am an independent woman. I am strong. I am able to do things on my own. If I don't know something, I will go out and find it and research it until I do. I don't wait for the opportunities to come to me. I search for the opportunities. I remember one of the things I learned from Oprah, um, I, and I'm not name dropping because I didn't meet her, i just saying from her show. When she used to do her daily show, I was like, how do they fill up 365 days a year of like, you know, booking people and booking, you know, talk you know, psychologists, whatever, the, picking the, the themes and picking the, the topic of the show. And, and she said, I produce with purpose. Mm -hmm. So every show, has to deliver something. Why am I producing this this particular episode? Yes. And I have carried that with me in everything that I do. Like, what is the point? And so I'll get pitched things of like, oh, it's like a like Empire but Latino. <laughs> I go right, okay, but and then what? Yeah. Like, uh, great. Like, I've turned down so many things that I go, that's going to be, people are going to watch that. I just don't know what the point is. Like, yeah. What's the purpose? For me, exactly. It might service something in your life, but it's not servicing my goals yeah. of whatever that is, right? Each woman is a unique individual. Currently, I'm in the process of building academic and practical knowledge of how to become a truly independent global female leader. And my dream is to become a diplomat and represent my country on the international arena, as well as to make an important contribution to the advancement of this planet. I'm still a freshman and not in a position to give you tips, but my parents have always taught me, be the best version of yourself. All in all, I'm a proud Korean who was raised to be an independent woman. So we've all inherited so much baggage, you know, from culture and from unconscious parents and their ancestors. And as a result, we grow into these legacies without ever questioning how do they work for me? You know, who am I in all of this? And what is my truth in all of this? So we live off prescriptive checklists. Being independent means freedom. It leaves you passionate. You're going to do what you're passionate about. It means something that can give you the fuel to go ahead and create it and be self-confident and have that final independence that we are actually looking for as a woman and you are an independent woman, you should be an independent woman. Dream big and work towards it to make them reality. There are no boundaries, nothing is impossible. Your focus and your goal should be clear and you will achieve them. How you can do that? Knowledge is the key. The more you learn and the more you explore innovations, the more confident and knowledgeable you will become. 
three tips for becoming an independent woman. Number one, believe in yourself. Number two, take action. And number three, know your worth. Never let anybody define what your worth is. Know your worth. Knowing who you are and then practicing radical self-acceptance in your brilliance and in your darkness and then bringing them together to shine as the sexy, brilliant woman that you are. In today's world, we have a lot of roles. We're expected to be a caring mother, a good wife, a successful entrepreneur, a strong leader, a reliable business partner, a loyal friend, a compassionate sister, or also a clever daughter. How can we be enough? It is not about what kind of role you are given, or which you chose for yourself, or how successful you are in any of them. Essentially, it is about how you feel every single day. Let's face it, one of the most meaningful moments in life is to give life, giving a birth to your child. It can also be demanding at the same time. We have to take responsibility and be a good mother. Well, we are always trying to do our best. But we have goals. So have I. So have you. How can you balance all this in the limited amount of time and manage to work on your own dreams too? Can we have it all? Let me tell you, you can. Because you are a role model. You can build your empire. But if not done right, it can bring you to exhaustion and almost burn you out at the same time. To share and celebrate life with your husband and not allow routine to swallow your relationships. On top of that, there are our social responsibilities, self-care, health and so much more. Facing all of that at once can be felt as a lonely journey. Because nobody wants to share that something does not work in their life. Especially with the boom of social media, where everything looks so perfect, always. Also, everything is changing so fast. We are facing incredible streams of information, challenges and changes. How to cope with all of that alone? The choice is yours. If you want to lose weight, you change your diet. If you want to be fit, you do sports. If you want to learn dancing, you go to a dancing class. If you want to be good at economics, you study economics. If you want to be the best and get the best, you need to learn from the best. But most importantly, if you want to succeed, you surround yourself with the people who want to succeed as well who already succeeded so you can learn from them i surround myself with amazing people who help me through it choosing who you surround yourself with choosing very carefully surround yourself with people you love let me tell you so often we chase the next certificate next promotion the next status the bigger house the next award or title but think about it, once we reach it, we've lost. I had a discussion with John Travolta about what makes the personality of an award-winning person and you will be shocked about his response. John said that the award, the result, is actually a byproduct of doing it right. It is about how can we contribute and it is about focusing on the quality 
and growing your abilities so you can become the best you can be. And this is actually what we are focusing on here at The Independent Women. I've been in the situation where I've achieved many things that many women only can dream of. And I had the illusion that it would make me happy. It didn't. And I felt alone. Well, you don't have to be alone. Together we're an ever-growing community, a place where you can learn, grow and transform. So you can build an extraordinary life, the life you really deserve. Independent Woman is for you to help you step into your power and build life based on your own terms and conditions. You deserve better relationships and a stress-free motherhood. You deserve to be financially free and have a paycheck as big as you wish. You deserve an abundant life full of wealth, health and happiness. Find your true self. Decide to choose yourself. Decide what success means for you. Take that road. Decide to be independent. Create life based on your own terms. Write your story. Your story matters. Your story will inspire. You will inspire. You are an inspiration. You are independent if you choose to be. Unleash it. The truth is within you.